This new study just looked at what it would take to end global poverty. Now, traditionally, when researchers ask this question, they're concerned with something called purchasing power parity, or PPP, grow up, which is a measure of how much goods cost in one country versus another. Think about like a Big Mac in the US versus in Mexico. One problem with this method though, is that a country can be doing well economically, but still have basic goods be unaffordable for many people. Where I live in Canada, we're currently in a cost of living crisis, even though we have the 10th largest economy in the world. Previous studies that use these productivity-based measures estimate that we need to increase global productivity by four times in order to end global poverty. Think about how much our activities already alter the environment or take advantage of people in less productive countries. Now quadruple that, not good. Researchers in a new study tried a different method to answer this question. They looked at something called decent living standards, which is a bare minimum list of goods and services that people need to not be in poverty, which by their estimates, 80% of the world don't have. If you look at how much energy it would take to provide these standards to everyone in the world by 2050, we can meet it right now. In fact, we can triple it. Same goes for material costs, which we could easily meet, even if we account for some inequality between people. The key here is that materials and energy should be focused on certain kinds of production, housing and healthcare, rather than casinos and fast fashion. Now, importantly, this is just a model. The reality of enacting on this would involve hugely complicated steps to transport and utilize resources from higher income countries, crossing geopolitical boundaries and cultural ideologies, and involve the cooperation of huge companies. I know it's hard to hear these results and look around and not be pretty disappointed in humanity, but I think there's a hopeful message here. Like we seem to have the resources available to end poverty, now we just need to figure out how to do it.